What's up, people? Good morning. It is Thursday, so it's that time of the week again. We're going to take a look at some past coverage. And again, the news is pretty good overall. Obviously, we gave up some completions to Herbert. We gave up some yards. But he had to throw the ball a lot to get what he got. And some of those yards were garbage time. The Chargers had a garbage time touchdown drive. Um, the Chargers really didn't mount any big drives throughout the game. A lot of the time they would make like one or two big plays and then have to punt or have a turnover. So it all worked out really well for the most complete game I've seen us play in a long time. And the coverage mostly reflects that. We did give up some stuff, but it ultimately didn't amount to much. And again, if the opposing quarterback is going to drop back to pass that many times, they're going to get yards eventually. So we're going to start with the linebackers here. Jordan Brooks continues to get targeted a decent amount. He got targeted seven times in this game and gave up uh, six completions for a grand total of, let me check the edit history here, 51 yards. Not the worst. Not a complete disaster. Still not necessarily where you want to be. But I will say this. If Brooks is going to get targeted seven times and give up 51 yards, that's not the end of the world. I can kind of live with that. that that's uh, tolerable. But the completion percentage is still kind of out of control, and overall his season is not particularly good. Cody Barton finally got targeted without giving up the completion. He is now 21 for 22, or I guess you would say that Cody Barton is now 1 for 22 in coverage this year. But he got targeted six times, gave up five completions for, let's uh, make sure we get this right here, 28 yards. So... He gave up a lot of completions, but not that many yards, so I can live with that. He did give up a touchdown, his first touchdown of the year, and his QB rating allowed jumped to uh, almost 120. But again, I can give up those checkdowns, man. Checkdowns, they're going to have a high completion percentage. It's, it's kind of okay. I'm not against it. Um, Daryl Taylor didn't get targeted. Nawosu got targeted, I believe, once and gave up one completion for, like, I think six yards. Let me make sure I got that right here. Yes, six yards, so kind of nothing. Mafe got targeted, I believe, three times and gave, or two, two times, gave up two completions for about 25 total yards. QB rating 108.3. So Mafe's still holding up more or less in coverage. Irvin got targeted once, gave up one completion for six yards, so welcome back to the NFL, Bruce Irvin. Um, Bruce overall played a pretty good game, no real complaints about the way he played. And there's the linebackers. Still got some problems, for sure. Still have concerns. Brooks is still well on pace to give up about a thousand yards this year in coverage, which not too many other players are going to do. Barton is still giving up nearly 10 yards a target and allowing over 95% completion. That's a losing combo. But um, I guess it's getting a little bit better. It, it kind of had to get better after like that Detroit game. But uh, I guess we're getting a little bit better. I think it's really going to help try to get Brooks out of coverage. Let him blitz on those passing downs. I think he can be a good blitzer. But I digress. Let's go to the cornerbacks now. Sidney Jones did not play. Artie Burns did not play. Tariq Woolen got targeted a good amount four times, and he gave up a grand total of two completions. So when you're talking about Tariq Woolen and you're saying he got targeted a good amount of times and it's only four, you're kind of on to something here, right? Because let's remember where this guy started. Fifth round rookie. Not supposed to be ready to play in the NFL his rookie year, in my mind at all, really. I, I thought he was a pure red shirt, and here we are. On those four targets, he gave up uh, 27 yards. He did give up a touchdown. Uh, looking at that play, I got to be honest. I don't know what he's supposed to do there. He got kind of got picked by the other Chargers receiver. Like, I, I'm, I don't think he did anything wrong. And honestly, I think the other completion he gave up, he got his hand on the ball and Mike Williams caught it anyway. Like, what else is he supposed to do there? That's just kind of bad luck. So... 46 QB rating again, still really good, still awesome. Uh, Michael Jackson actually had a really nice game. I want to uh, draw emphasis here. He got targeted eight times, and he gave up three completions. So that is what they call holding up. When you get targeted eight times, and you only give up 22 yards, something's good. And look, Michael Jackson's played almost every snap this year. 
He hasn't allowed over 150 receiving yards on the season yet. All right, if this keeps up, it's going to be hard for Trey Brown to get on the field because he's going to come back soon. Do you want to take Michael off the field when he's playing this well? When he's allowing barely 50% completion, 150 yards, less actually, less than 150 yards. Um, he, he, um, he, he's just playing really well. 78 QB rating for a guy with no interceptions. Now, he should have had one against the Chargers, but um, that's why they play defensive back. And you add it all up, and as much as I like Trey Brown and want to see him play, I, I got to say, do you want to mess with a good thing right now? Because you have a good thing going right now. And even though he didn't have the greatest game statistically, I'm going to include Kobe Bryant in that. Because uh, Kobe Bryant, he got targeted a lot. He gave up some stuff, but he's better. Uh, specifically in this game, he got targeted nine times, according to PFR. Gave up seven completions for about 70. Yeah, about, uh, 69 yards. Oh, nice. But um, even that, like 69 yards on nine targets, that's fine for an outside, or a nickel corner, excuse me. That's fine. I, I can I can live with that. That's no problem. You're doing your job if you're only allowing that much. And you're making other plays as well. Like, Kobe should have had his first career interception, got screwed by the ref, whatever. But, uh, yeah, Kobe, solid game. QB rating dipped down again to 119.2. He, he's on the way. He's working on it. He's getting down there. Uh, that's it for the actual cornerbacks. Ryan Neal, as we know, is playing safety. And he played an excellent game on Sunday. He got targeted a lot in this game, which speaks to the large role that he is playing on this defense. It's not just safety. He comes up and almost plays linebacker in some of these dime packages, which I actually like. So he got targeted nine times and only gave up four completions. That's winning football. And on those completions, he only allowed uh, 28 yards. So 28 yards on nine targets, winning football, period. And he picked up an interception. QB rating all the way down to 76.2. So Ryan Neal played a great game. He's playing better this year than he did last year by a long shot. He finally got to make a play on the ball. He got his hand on the ball several times in this game. And it wasn't just coverage. It was other things too. He, he played well. Tackle, he was a good tackler. So something's going on here with Ryan Neal. I'm not going to say we can just dump Jamal Adams tomorrow because we got Ryan Neal. I'm not going there yet. But he's doing his thing right now. And I saw Ryan Neal play safety last year, and I didn't think he was particularly good at it. But this year, he's holding up better. Uh, Quandre Diggs, the other safety, he got targeted a few times in this game, four times, and he gave up two completions. Probably his best game of the year so far. Um, he gave up about 40 yard, uh, excuse me, 30 yards in coverage, 31, which, sure, uh, he had that one play where he broke up a... Well, Probably would have been a first down. Um, he was slightly more successful tackling in this game. Just seemed to be a little bit better, more on his game. QB rating allowed still about 114 because he's not getting picks. But I feel like if he keeps playing like that, it's going to come. Josh Jones got on the field a little bit, um, but he did not actually get targeted. So nothing new there. That, that edit was from uh, last week. So nothing to report there. He only plays a handful of snaps these days. And yeah, that's your pass coverage. Uh, pass coverage Thursday. It, it some of the numbers are big, but when you're when Herbert's going to drop back that many times, ain't nothing wrong with what we've just seen today. All right, see you guys later. Go Hawks.